Hi, so have you ever had leftover cake scraps from maybe cutting off the layers of a birthday cake or maybe you baked some cupcakes and they didn't get eaten up? So today I'm going to show you what we're going to do with the leftover cake scraps and you will not believe how delicious the desserts can turn out to be with leftover cake scraps. they become nice and crunchy so midway through baking they will look like this and we will just break them up very quickly and put them back to the oven to bake for some more time and then we're going to blitz them in the mixer so that it resembles coarse crumbs already melted my chocolate and we're just going to mix it with our cake crumbs very nicely and then in a parchment paper we're going to put this mix and lay over another parchment paper on top and flatten out the mix really nicely so that it becomes straight and flat then we just put it to cool for a while and once it's cool it will be really hard because of the chocolate so then we can cut out shapes in the chocolate with whatever kind of cookie cutter you have over here i'm just using a circle and you can see how nicely it cuts out so the leftover chocolate straps we can just remelt it and reheat it to make them again now on to the next dessert so in a cold bowl i'm just beating coconut cream till it becomes light and fluffy and it's got beads like this. So we're just going to coarsely break up our cake and we we'll take our jam as well and I'm just breaking it up and making it smooth. Then in a glass we'll just put our cake crumbs and we'll flatten them out with a spoon. Then next we will take our jam and we'll just spread it around the glass. Make sure that you spread it to the side so that the layers are seen. Then next goes the coconut cream and then the granola and I'm just going to repeat the layers. Topped it off with some blueberry and that's it. That's your trifle ready and you can make this in so many flavors. The next dessert that we're going to make is cake balls. So I've just taken coarsely ground up cake and added melted chocolate to it and I'm just going to mix it really properly. Then I'll take some cocoa powder and a weighing scale and I'll weigh out the balls of the chocolate mixture and roll it in cocoa powder and that's it. That's our cake balls ready and I'll repeat the procedure. Can you believe how easy it was to make those desserts? Seriously, like if you have any cake scraps left over, there's a million things you can do with it. Today, I focus mainly on chocolate, but you can come up with a lot of flavors. Like for the cake truffles, you can make orange zest chocolate, or you can even mix it with some coconut cream and you know put some vanilla extract or cinnamon, whatever you like. And it's the same for the trifle, you can make a million flavors with the trifle. For the cake garnishes, of course, if you get your hands on milk chocolate or vegan white chocolate, you can make the same uh, garnishes with these two kinds of chocolates. So yes, I really don't like throwing away the leftover scraps. And tell me if you like these kind of videos where I show you what to do with leftover ingredients or with leftover pastry cake scraps and I would love to come up with a few ideas and if you know any ideas please let me know in the comment box below and I'll be sure to include them in the next video that I make. Also before I forget if you like this video please subscribe, comment and if you need the written recipes for everything that we did today I have written a blog post which I have attached in the description box below and you can just click on that and it will lead you to the written recipes. Thank you and see you next time. Like, comment, share and subscribe and don't forget to visit the website for the recipes.